everyone welcome back to another exos heroes video so it's been a while since i've done an account review and if you're asking i am still playing but i'm still salty because i don't have misty but i'm still playing the game again i'm i'm, I'm a sucker for being loyal so um as for this account review there's been a lot of you know changes to my account a lot of improvements actually um let's start off with my roster so manage heroes okay so as you all know i have been you know um mostly wasted red for those of you who haven't seen my you know my last account review i have had i've started building stories so if you can see here I cannot believe that Maggie is actually my top in terms of combat power. But again, well, it really depends on your build for her. But close behind for Wasted Red. I don't want to elaborate more on my Wasted Red team um, because I've built it. I built it. I finished. I already finished the, um, the Blue Fate Core, which is uh, Blue Fate Core Baraka. I already finished the Signature Force. Uh, most of my heroes, if you can see here, are built already. So let's let's just have a, a review. For those who kind of forgot what I have or had or have currently. So as you can see here, this is actually my Wasted Red team. So you have Maggie, you have Redly, of course. You have... Um, you have... Um, sorry, Maggie, Redly, Annie... You have Jean. Jean, actually, recently I have fully um, unleashed potential already. So, again, more more uh, firepower for my Wasted Red team. You have Garf. Um, so far, those are it that I have built um, in terms of PvP. And I've focused on... Then I actually stopped. Then I transferred to another, uh, what do you call this? Another nation, which is Astoris Republic. So let's see my development in Astoris Republic. But Wasted Red is still my main team. Astoris is actually for either Tag or Arcverse. So that is why I built Astoris. Um, again, I have Janai here. I built Adams. Even Jin is actually built already. Um, I got his last uh, skin. I, I'm, I'm actually using the gold faker, but I'm using his skin. And I was fortunate to get his weapon as well. So th that is a development for me. Then I have here Shell, which I will be um, fusioning 5 once once I get her fate core and in, in the login for 30 days. Then currently the project that I'm doing for... Stories is going to be Legger. I'm trying to create a team um, because Revive is actually a good combo with, I think, with the other Jin, the, the Black Fate Core Jin. So I'm trying to build an Stories team that probably I can use in the future Black Fate Core Jin. So Legger is coming into play. Unfortunately, I didn't want to pull for. For what you call this for Kaya because I was actually selecting whether I would go with Kaya for Blue Fate Core or I would go with Yao. Currently, I'm still, I think, up to plus two with Yao, which we'll take a look at later. So I'm actually trying to build Yao. So at plus two, I actually had to pity that banner and I only got one. So very bad luck for that banner. I didn't really had the, you know, um, time to film that uh, summon or pull but again as you can see here for Yao she's at 2 so this is actually what I'm building now and I'm nearing nearing actually finishing stories I just need one more copy of Janai um, actually two copies of Janai one for the fate core I already have the fate core the I already have the fate core but not the fated hero I need a fated two copies of the fated hero, one for signature force, and one for her um, fusion. So Jinai for me is at. Let's take a look at her stats. So attack is at nine eight, which is actually ridiculous. But I intend to, as I am able to um, level up my signature force one. 
especially my Blue Fate Core. And also, um, I think I have to get copies of Blue Fate Correra for Chaos Units. This will go above 9,000, I'm sure. This is actually very important. That is why I, I really like the synergy of, of his stories because with Jinai, as long as Jinai is, has a tremendous attack, then you won't have a problem. So right now I'm using these guys, one, two, three, four, five, and more or less I'm developing Blue Fate Core and Signature Force. The third nation that I am currently hoping or I'm currently developing right or I'm planning to develop right after a stories is going to be Greenland. So for Greenland, I already have the core. Um, I'm actually I'm actually an unleashed potential. I already have unleashed the potential of Rara. Bathory, I would be next, then Talia. Greenland is a mainstay, guys. I'm sorry, but Again, for, for, for PvP, for for any mode of PvP, they are ridiculous. They can be splashed in any, you know, any nation. So that is why I've decided to go with them as my third nation. So again, I'm not expanding towards the new nations, except probably for Bran. If <laughs> Dorka is coming around, I don't know where Dorka is. Don't ask me. So the, there's always the question, where is Dorka? Um, that's the, probably my fourth nation, but I'm taking my time because I don't see Dorka in sight yet. So I'm going to build, um, I'm going to build, um, Greenland as my third nation. Currently guys, I'm, I have been free to play already for roughly two months or three months. I have been solely relying, uh, on Zest on my dailies and air squadron and weeklies. So... More or less, it has been good. Um, I I have been able to save for uh, the crucial banners uh, re uh, so far. So far, it's been good. So again, so these are my th uh, Rina is actually my third nation. So again, for the projects, we we'll go back to go back to Legger. So she's what I'm building right now. And so far, let's 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 go to um let's i'll show you my pvp team so i haven't been going up i haven't been spending zest actually for for pvp that is why i'm still a challenger i at this point i don't want i it for me it's not it's not at this point i mo i have most of the heroes already so zess is going to be for for the difference of let's say for example um, from Challenger 1 to Master 3. That's a difference of... Um, sorry, not that one. 140 Zest. So, for me to push that, and just to, you know, just to attain the Zest would not be, would not be very, you know, productive for me. Except that there are other, you know, there are other rewards here that are also good but at this point i don't really really want to spend this so i'm actually content to be in challenger one um so far unless they make changes to the rewards probably gonna have to go up and try to try to go back to i haven't been you know i haven't been to grand for a while it's been a really a while so um, but I have been, you know, I have been cruising in in PvP for a while, and uh, I forgot to show you guys my team. So I have been using either this, this one, or not this one, this one. So I've been using Jin for a while. Um, Jin has been fantastic, uh, even in even in auto. So I'll show you guys. I usually use Maggie for auto. Uh, for manual, I usually use Annie. So again, I'll show you one match for Jin. Um, Jinai is going to be here. And this team is actually very, very good. So let's try to have one match for you guys. I'm going to do this manually so that this will be faster. So again, for, for Jin, Jin... Probably an Adams in one Astoris Republic team. Good. 
I just have to figure out who I'm going to take out, whether I'm going to to take out Maggie. It in auto. So the first would be Redley. So I see. <laughs> I think everyone is in beach attire. So, oh. this guy I forgot his name. Um, what's his name again? I forgot. Uh, Glenn. Yeah, Glenn. Glenn. I remember Glenn. I remember Glenn. So, preferably I have this on manual so that we could have this faster. So, storage team. Um, once you merge your wasted red with your stories, it kind of speeds things up. So, the what do you call this? The hitting power of your wasted red uh, coupled with stories, especially with Janai having that high attack, it's it's going to be it's going to be ridiculous. So, again, um, as you can see here, most of them are charmed and. This is going to be more or less um, a quick one. The shields here are just, you know, crazy. Um, Misty, the matchup with Misty is actually manageable. Um, but again, Misty will be a force to reckon with in the future. But for now, she is still manageable. It's really hard to get copies of her. Most don't even have one, including me again. So really having a hard time. <laughs> Accepting that, still salty, very salty. I haven't gotten a copy of Misty. So as you can see, a dismantle of Lenombe here. So Challenger one, um, this this actually is a fun team that that that, that I'm using with Jin, but. If I'm going to climb up, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to use Astoris. I have to go back to my default. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Xeon. Really hate the shield or the barrier. So Mana Bind, Silence, everything is on him. So let's... Hopefully, this, this doesn't take long. It's already 8 turns. And you guys, I know, are excited to see my signature force. So, let's... Uh, let's be fast, guys. Fast. Silence. See you again. So, I think this is going to boil down to the lightning strikes again with the pesky shield, mana bind. They're not going anywhere. So, again, with the stories, you're going to have more, you know, um, attack power. The enemy is going to be softer. And also, you're going to have more control over your enemies on the other side. Only actually, the, the shield is the only one that ke is keeping them alive, or the barrier. So as of now, I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to weather this. So again, I don't see the value of climbing anymore. Um, it's I waste a lot of zest just climbing, just to get more zest. So that's it. It's actually a counterproductive. I don't. I don't really uh, uh, go after the standings anymore. I used to, you know, I used to go after grand every now and then. But again, the only thing that I'm after the most is if, if I could go grand, I can. But at this point, it's already a Sunday. I don't think I'll have the opportunity to go to grand anymore. So it's going to be a painful grind, and you know. And I'll be, you know, spending a lot of zest if I do that. So I'd rather, you know, have a deficit in terms of 140 zest because more or less I'll be spending more of that. Um, if I go up, it's in only a difference of 140. Uh, let's say I gain 140, then I spend probably 160 or more. So that's probably 240. I don't want to do that, guys. It's, it's really not 
you know in terms of bis a business it's it's not really profitable at this point so i'm happy with challenger one probably in the next few weeks weeks if i am able to have the what do you call this if i have the timing in playing um Zibens jr or pvp um earlier than probably recharge and then have another five fights probably or another probably have 10 to 15 fights uh, just for the usual recharge that would be good but paying for this is going to be it's going to be counterproductive at this point where are they getting their shields Zion is already out I really don't understand why so there we go they're out and it took us around six minutes just to finish this off okay so we're done with pvp so i'll take you guys to signature force and uh, my blue fc build Let's go first to my blue FC. Um, let's go here. Blue Fate Core, as you can see here. Um, she, I think this is at plus two. This is at, I think, plus two as well. This one, this is only one copy. I, I only pulled one. So two consecutive blue uh, Fate Core pulls with PT only. So that's very bad. So again, this is, I think, at the uh, plus three already. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that um, my buffs were wasted red is actually full. So this is already fusion, fusion five, and this is at fusion two. So again, attack has to be increased uh, beyond plus six. This is already good. Um, I have to improve as well on this one. So attack is only at 3.8 percent for blue fate career for my signature force guys let's take a look at my signature force so as you can see I, most of my most of my signature force is really good except for vagabond and saint west so for dorka for Brun, Brun Signature Force is actually not that bad. I'm up to um, the third level already. So I have been busy with uh, with Brun. For Vagabond, recently I've gotten copies of... Um, this is not it. Ah, this is Schmidt. For Schmidt, obviously I'm done. For Vagabond, I forgot. So that's Schmidt. Then you have for Saint West. I I I mean, carry recently. I got a copy. So uh, mostly mostly Saint West is at uh, the lowest that I have. So Vagabond is full. Brun is actually up to level three. Um, North Von Frosty is actually at level two, two point two. Then you have here Wasted Red, of course, is actually full as well. So I'm just waiting for another level to open up. Um, Lenombe is actually catching up. I recently got a lot of copies of FC Rachel. So um, they're at uh, 2.3. If you can see here, Greenland. So Greenland, again, is also good at 2.2. But if you can see here, Astorius, I'm only missing one more just to complete the signature for so i'm not concentrating on the new nations right now because um i don't see any value in you know in building them especially that i need copies of the generals for their signature link i'm focusing more on the old nations then probably after after greenland and brun then Probably I could find another, you know, new nation with signature link to uh, tinker with. The best possibility that I'm looking at for me to tinker with is going to be Shadow Bane with Luna. Luna is my best bet that I'm going to build. But for now, 
for now i still have to you know to leave her be i'm building up my other nations and building them towards green okay guys so this has been a kind of long video i'm sorry but thank you for sticking around and also please subscribe don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet click that bell icon and also put a like to this video guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here